everyone, my name is Iris Franz. Today we're going to continue to talk about Slavsky equation. In particular, I'm going over an example in Hall Veron's textbook. So here's an example. Given a budget $120, suppose the price of milk has gone down from $3 to $2 per gallon. What is the substitution effect and income effect? So if you remember from my previous video, you know that um, given that original bundle is X, so our original bundle was when the price was $3, and our final bundle is Z. So the final bundle is a bundle that we consume after the price has changed to $2. So given the final bundle is Z, the original bundle is X, then the difference between X and Z will be our total effect. And there is a bundle in between, we call that bundle Y. As long as you can find out the bundle Y, then the difference between X and Y will be the substitution effect, and the difference between Y and Z will be the income effect. So our goal is to find out this bundle Y, then we'll be able to know everything. Typically, the original bundle and the final bundles are easier to find. So what is our original bundle? Our original bundle is a function of the original price and our budget. So our price is $3 and our budget is $120 and we are given this demand function. So all we have to do is just plug in our P1 $3 and our budget $120 then we'll be able to find out our original bundle X. And after you plug in the number, you'll find out that our original bundle is equal to 14 gallons of milk. What about our final bundle? We know our final bundle, the price has changed from three to two dollars. So we're going to plug in P1 prime. P1 prime is just two dollars. Everything else remains the same. And after you plug in a number, you'll find out our final bundle Z is equal to 16 gallons. So our next goal is to find out bundle Y. Now remember bundle Y, that in-between bundle, was a bundle after I change your income. So after the price has changed to P1 prime, that's a new price, I am going to give you money or take away money so that the original bundle is just affordable for you to purchase. So what is that? Well, we just need to plug in our um, new price and our new income. So that would be our, that's our um, demand function 10 plus our new income. What is our new income? We're going to calculate that. That will be M plus delta M, and that's the money I'm going to give you or take away, depending on whether the delta M is positive or negative. And divided by here, 10 times P1, but I know the price is now a new price. It's P1 prime. So I have P1 prime, that's $2. And I have the original income, which is 120. So my goal is to find out delta M. And once I find delta M, I'll be able to find Y. So where is this delta M? We know that um, our original bundle we consume, well now we only have one good. So it's P1X1, that's equal to M. That's the price of milk times the original quantity of milk I consume, that's equal to M. And after the price change um, to P1 prime, I am going to consume the original bundle, X1. And I'm either going to give you money or take away money that the original bundle is still affordable. So that will be P1 prime times X1. And this will be the money I give you or take away so that you can still consume the original bundle. So we're going to subtract equation 1 from equation 2 and then we get this P1 prime minus P1 times the original bundle that will be equal to our delta M. So I know as long as I know the original price P1 which is $3 and I know the new price which is $2 and I know the original consumption bundle which was, we calculate that, our X was 14. So our original consumption bundle for the milk is 14 gallons. So how much money do I have to give or take away so that you can afford to consume this 14 gallons? We just do P1 prime minus P1 times X1. And P1 prime is two, P1 is three, 
and our original consumption was 14 gallons. So 2 minus 3 bracket times 14, that will be the delta m. And you can find out the delta m is equal to negative 14, meaning, well, the price of milk goes down, so I can take away $14 from you, and you can still afford to buy the original bundle, 14 gallons. So now I know my delta n is equal to negative 14. So I'm able to calculate my bundle y. So what is bundle y? Well, y1, because we only have good one, um, that's milk. That is equal to, we're just plugging numbers. So our original equation, demand function is here. 10 plus the new income. What is the new income? The new income will be my original income, 120 minus 14 because that's the money I'm going to take away from you so that you can still afford to buy your original bundle. So 120 minus 14. Now divided by 10 times P1 prime. P1 prime is my new price, $2. And I can calculate this Y bundle is equal to 15.3. Now I have X, I have Y, and I have Z. So I can calculate where my substitution effect is and where my income effect is. So substitution effect is equal to y minus x. So that will be equal to 15.3 minus 14, that's your x, and you get 1.3. That will be our substitution effect. And our income effect is equal to our final bundle z minus this bundle y, and that will be 16 minus 15.3, and you get 0.7. So we have calculated substitution effect and income effect. I hope this helps and enjoy learning Slavsky equation. Bye!